9702 October November 2013 paper 2 variant 3 uh, this question is about uh, wave uh, question number 5 define for a wave a one wavelet minimum distance between the points in a wave that are in phase we have a lot of definition like uh, the distance between the two consecutive crust or trough is the wave right so you can write that as well and this is the another definition frequency number of wave front number of wave front per unit time so you can write this you can write this number of oscillation per second right you can uh, write that as well use your function to deduce the relationship between lambda frequency and the speed of the wave so here we have just one with the distance between the d is uh, under this condition is a uh, uh, wavelength and the time required to complete this wave is a period so as we know that uh, the velocity is distance upon time so the, the wavelength is replaced by Uh, with d and small t replaced with the uh, capital t period and one upon period is actually the frequency so speed is equals to frequency into wavelength plane waves on the surface of water represented by figure 5.1 at one particular instant of time so this is one particular particular instant of time and uh, the wave have frequency 2.5 hertz determine the for the waves of one its amplitude so we have this uh, maximum displacement this is the uh, uh, maximum uh, positive peak and this, this is the negative peak so the amplitude is half of it uh, and the the, the the maximum displacement from the mean position so 8 mm divided by 2 we will get 4 mm uh, regarding the speed is p equals frequency time wavelength uh, frequency is given 2.5 and for the wavelength if you check this picture so it has uh, three complete wave and one wave is 75% complete so this will be considered as 3.7 uh, 3.75 bin wave so 18 cm divided by 3.75 we will get the wavelength which is 4.8 meter so after resolving 2.5 times 4.12 meter per second <coughs> uh three the phase difference between the points a and b so if you look at the uh, this uh, right both a and b right uh, are not in phase because this is the the, the, the point a is the particle uh, is considered the point b the particle the wave is going downward and here it is moving upward so if we check the uh, angles of this sine wave so this will be a 180 degree and this will be 360 degree so 360 minus 180 is so the phase difference is in terms of angle is 180 degree unit is degree <clears throat> so next part next part is a uh, little bit straight power right and uh, what is it part c the wave in b was produced in a ripple tank describe briefly with the aid of a sketch diagram how the wave may be observed so we will design a tank and show the water in it and they, we place a vibrator at one end and label it as a vibrator put straightly upward a light source facing downward right so a reflection of water wave will be at the bottom right so after generating the wave 
right the shades of crust will appear on the screen and that shades is termed as wavefront so we need to keep in mind that light uh, source and this is again should be uh, exactly uh, in the middle and the top of this light source on the top of the uh, tank and the screen is at the bottom so the line of action or you can say the line uh, will be a straight one <coughs> So, uh, and don't forget to label everything. This, like this is the wavefront, this is the screen, this is the vibrator, and the liquid inside the ripple glass tube. Ripple is produced in water with the help of a vibrator. Light on the top of the tank create a shadow at the bottom in the form of wavefront. So, this